Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is wash day routine. So you guys are going to be washing my hair with me. I'm going to show you how to properly wash your fussy natural hair, especially when you've had braids in for long. I, I had braids in for like eight weeks. If you've not seen that video, you definitely want to check it out. And this is me washing my hair after that eight weeks, right? And of course, you want to make sure you section your hair before you get started it just makes the washing process easy you also want to wear gloves if you don't want your hand to have those marks from like there's a way my hands feels after i've washed my hair or washed something for long and i was trying to prevent it that's why i wore gloves and you want to make sure that you drench your hair so my hair is low porosity which means that it takes a while for products and water to get into my hair so you just want to make sure that you drench your hair with warm water trust me this water was very warm if you are in nigeria you know how hot the weather is i'm telling you the water coming out from my tap is hot and warm so i didn't even need to like boil water or something like it was actually warm so i now go in with this um xhc shampoo yeah the coconut water one i've used the tea tree um one and i really liked it so when i saw this in the supermarket i was like oh okay let me go um for this please note that this shampoo is not sulfate free so meaning that it has sulfates that can strip your hair off the oils i really did need this particular kind of shampoo because I mean my hair was really dirty i needed to strip everything strippable <laughs> from this hair right imagine not washing your hair for like eight weeks all right so when shampooing one technique you want to use is to ensure that you focus on your scalp area right you focus on getting the products to your scalp and not necessarily on your hair right of course the products will actually get to your hair but you know you focus on putting it on your scalp and taking more as much as you need just so that you get that squeaky clean um feeling for your hair basically so you want to make sure you do that to all the sections as much as possible see this is what we go through <laughs> for people with thick hair so when i pray for thick hair just know that the struggle is real my hair is not even so long but i'm still struggling with like the thickness and all but yeah okay so the next thing you want to do is to rinse actually i decided to wash my hair twice actually normally i would just shampoo only once but because i needed to you know really wash this hair thoroughly i went in a second time but this time around i tried with a different shampoo that did not have sulfate so i started with a sulfate full shampoo and i ended with a sulfate free shampoo this particular shampoo is a nigerian a brand so you notice now that there is more foam on my hair and that's because i have already you know washed it the first time and most of the dirt has gone so it's easier for my hair to foam more now and yeah so once you are done with the second one the conditioner so for the conditioner i using the same xhc conditioner this conditioner smells so good like you'll be smelling the coconuts on your hair and i really liked it so you this time around you will focus on your hair and not your scalp so when conditioning you are going to focus on your hair so for me i just decided to um you know just condition in sections it's usually easier to work in sections of my hair you guys see the way my hair is breaking huh anyway <laughs> so i just put it around my hair in sections it's just you know easier to work with like that and yeah focus on my hair focus on the ends of my hair as well it's very important
I didn't really put so much effort into this conditioning process because I was still going to deep condition. But the reason why I made sure I did the conditioning step was just so that I'll be able to get back moisture into my hair strands after stripping it <laughs> with my shampoo. So basically, I just wanted my hair to, you know, get moisturized and also have some sort of sleep before I get into the deep conditioning process. For my deep conditioner, I'm using this ORS um, hair mayonnaise, which has protein, you know, in it. I'm trying to get back as much protein as I can to my hair because it has been breaking badly. And I decided to try this. This is the first time I'm trying this particular brand. It actually smells really nice, this product, and it did the job that I needed it to do. So it's very moisturizing as well. And it really left my hair soft after the um deep conditioning process so for the deep conditioning process i'm using a method that i learned from chic and naturals so that method is she used it for her conditioning process but i decided to use it for my deep conditioning process it just makes it easy so what it is is that you section your hair you know into like different sections for me i did three sections and then you apply the product you detangle and then you use your hairband to hold that session once you use your hairband to hold the session then you braid that particular session now you're going to see why this method is a must do because i don't know ever since i learned this method my life has never been the same <laughs> again especially for thick hair honestly this is a hack so after doing this i would do this for every session so for my hair i did it divided it into six sessions and went in with the product detangled using a white tooth comb and then i used the hairband to you know separate that section and braid it right Okay, so I finished all the sessions of camera and yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. Now, the next thing is to apply heat. So I'm using this, my steam cap that I got like years ago. Mm, this cap, I love it. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit with it or sit in it for about 15 minutes and to be fair i actually think i did more than 15 minutes and yeah i took off the gloves because i want to be pressing my phone okay as i'm waiting for this hair to get done so now we are done our hair is all cooked 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 so let me show you how to wash this off without having to remove the hairband right so the point of doing this particular method is so that your hair at the end of the day at the end of your wash day is stretched right you don't want to have shrinkage um after your wash day so that's where this method comes in and it's very great to do this under running water it's easier to you know wash off all the products under running water so I just do that and then I loosen the braids that I've made just so that water will pass through it very well. Like I really take my time to make sure water passes through the product to remove all the products rather. And then once I'm done, I braid it back. I braid the hair back and I do that for all the six sections and my hair is thoroughly rinsed. Okay and once i'm done with that i go in with a microfiber towel so you can use a microfiber towel and if you don't have that you can use like a t-shirt to actually you know dr to dry your hair basically so once we are done with this we just go in 
with allow it to air dry for a bit and then you can apply your leave-in conditioner or whatever you want to apply and put it in a bonnet so this is the next day and this is what my hair is looking like it's all dried up now and i just take down the i just take an oil first and apply it to my scalp and also put some on my palm while i'm taking down the braids so once i take down the braids the next thing is to comb it and you see how easy it is to comb like so easy to comb because my hair is stretched it is well detangled and yeah so this is why this method is so great so just let me know will you be trying this method have you tried it before i totally recommend it if you have thick hair it just makes your wash day easy so my hair is all stretched and looking so good thank you so much guys for watching please do make sure to leave a comment and let me know what your wash day routine is like and of course i will see you in the next video